Linda Ronstadt, a woman allergic to marriage, revealed the shocking reason why she decided not to get married for the rest of her life. As an iconic American singer, Linda has been courted by numerous gifted men, yet she continually, and somewhat mysteriously, closes the door on love. Don't rush to move on to another video, but watch this entire video to see her reason for refusing to get married. Let's go. In a 1974 interview with Crawdaddy magazine, Linda Ronstadt provided a candid and insightful perspective on why marriages, particularly in the context of the show business industry, often face significant challenges. She outlined several key reasons for her belief that such marriages are fraught with difficulties. Constant temptation. Ronstadt pointed out that individuals in show business are constantly exposed to new opportunities and attractive possibilities, which can be a major challenge for maintaining a committed relationship. In the entertainment industry, where fame and glamour are pervasive, the allure of new and exciting experiences can be irresistible. This constant exposure to alternatives can create temptation and strain on existing relationships. Frequent Absence Show business often involves extensive travel, long working hours, and hectic schedules. Ronstadt highlighted how the demanding nature of the industry means that individuals are not around long enough to nurture and sustain their relationships. Marriages require time and effort to develop and flourish, and the show business lifestyle can make it difficult to allocate this necessary time. Competitiveness Ronstadt emphasized that many of the people in the show business industry, including musicians, are highly competitive by nature. The relentless drive to succeed and outperform others can create a stressful environment, which may not be conducive to a stable and harmonious partnership. The competitive spirit may lead to conflicts and challenges in maintaining a relationship. Changing Nature of Relationships The world of show business is fast-paced and ever-evolving, and Ronstadt noted that the people one comes in contact with are often fellow musicians and artists. As a result, relationships in this environment may constantly shift and change. The evolving nature of connections in the industry can make it difficult for long-term relationships to thrive. Complex Compatibility Ronstadt also discussed the difficulty of finding someone who checks all the boxes in terms of compatibility. She illustrated how it's not uncommon to meet individuals who may excel in one aspect but fall short in others. For instance, someone may be musically inspiring but challenging to get along with on a personal level. Finding a partner who meets all of one's needs and preferences can be a daunting task in show business. Self-reflection. Lastly, Ronstadt acknowledged the challenge of being a partner herself, stating that finding someone who can stand her could be a difficulty. It's important to recognize one's own idiosyncrasies and personalities in a relationship, and sometimes one's own qualities can present challenges for a lasting partnership. In essence, Linda Ronstadt's insights shed light on the unique and complex dynamics of relationships within the world of show business. The constant exposure to alternatives, demanding schedules, competitive environment, and ever-changing nature of the industry make it challenging for marriages to succeed. Furthermore, finding a partner who truly aligns with one's personal and professional needs can be a daunting task. Her candid observations provide a glimpse into the intricacies of maintaining relationships in the entertainment industry. Also in a recent profile published by the New York Times, Linda Ronstadt, the renowned American singer, opened up about her personal experiences and how they relate to her famous 1967 song, Different Drum. This iconic song tells the story of a woman who refuses to conform to societal expectations and cannot be tamed by a man's desires. Linda Ronstadt revealed that she strongly identifies with the song's protagonist, expressing that she, too, felt a strong sense of independence and was not ready for marriage or any commitments resembling it when she was younger.
She believed that her youthful spirit and desire for freedom were paramount. However, her perspective on life and relationships took a significant turn when she became a mother. She pointed out that having children played a pivotal role in her personal growth, forcing her to mature and take on the responsibilities that come with parenthood. While Linda Ronstadt acknowledges the transformative power of motherhood, she doesn't shy away from expressing her struggles as a single parent. In a separate interview with the Honolulu Advertiser back in 2006, she admitted to wishing for a handbook on how to raise children. She longed for a guide that could provide guaranteed results in developing, creating, and maintaining a relationship with her children without making any mistakes. This candid admission reveals the challenges and uncertainties she faced as a single parent and her desire for more guidance in navigating the complex journey of parenthood. Linda Ronstadt's very clear views on marriage have pushed all of her male and female relationships to the back burner. Although Linda has had romantic relationships, none of them ended well. Linda and John Boylan Linda Ronstadt's professional and personal relationship with music producer John Boylan was a significant and enduring partnership that left an indelible mark on her successful career. Their collaboration spanned several decades and was instrumental in shaping Ronstadt's remarkable journey in the music industry. The story of their collaboration began in the late 1960s, when John Boylan took on the roles of both producer and manager for Linda Ronstadt. Boylan's keen understanding of her musical style and his ability to bring out the best in her performances were pivotal in her artistic development. This professional synergy led to a series of influential albums that not only showcased Ronstadt's exceptional vocal talent, but also revealed her incredible versatility as an artist. Their professional partnership eventually evolved into a romantic relationship underpinned by mutual respect and a shared artistic vision. They continued to work closely together, both personally and professionally, for several years. However, as is often the case with relationships in the entertainment industry, their romantic connection eventually came to an end. Despite the personal separation, their professional collaboration persisted, demonstrating the enduring strength of their artistic bond. Even after the romantic split, John Boylan continued to work with Linda Ronstadt as a producer on some of her subsequent albums. Their continued collaboration highlighted the deep respect and admiration they held for each other's talents. Their working relationship showcased a rare ability to separate personal and professional aspects, demonstrating the maturity and professionalism of both individuals, Linda and George Lucas. Linda Ronstadt, a celebrated singer in the 1970s and 1980s, had a noteworthy romantic relationship with the renowned filmmaker George Lucas. This connection between the two influential figures in the entertainment industry thrived during the late 1970s and early 1980s, coinciding with the peak of their respective careers. At that time, Linda Ronstadt was known for her powerhouse vocals and had a string of hit albums, while George Lucas was famous for creating the groundbreaking Star Wars franchise. Their relationship was a unique blend of two worlds, the music and film industries. What brought them together was their shared passions for art, music, and storytelling. They seemed to find common ground in their creative endeavors, and this shared enthusiasm likely served as a strong foundation for their romance. One notable aspect of their relationship was the level of privacy and discretion they maintained regarding their personal lives. Both Linda Ronstadt and George Lucas were individuals who valued their independence, and they were committed to their careers. Despite being in the public eye, they kept their romance largely away from the media, choosing to shield their personal lives from the prying eyes of the public. Their shared experiences in the spotlight created a unique bond between them. Both were iconic figures in their respective fields, and they understood the demands, pressures, and challenges that came with their careers. This common understanding likely contributed to the strength of their relationship. Even after their romantic involvement, 
George Lucas continued to hold Linda Ronstadt in high regard. He went as far as crediting her as one of the inspirations behind the character of Princess Leia in the Star Wars franchise. Linda Ronstadt's strong-willed and independent persona evidently resonated with Lucas, and this influence can be observed in the strong and empowering female characters he created in the Star Wars series, Linda and Jerry Brown. Linda Ronstadt's romantic involvement with Jerry Brown, the former governor of California, was a highly publicized and captivating love affair that unfolded during the 1970s. It drew considerable attention from both the public and the media. At the time, Jerry Brown was a charismatic and politically ambitious figure, serving his first term as the governor of California when he crossed paths with Ronstadt. Their pairing was a collision of two distinct worlds, the world of music and that of politics, which added to the intrigue and fascination surrounding their relationship. The 1970s was a decade marked by cultural and political movements, and Linda Ronstadt's music resonated with the spirit of the times. Her music, often described as a fusion of rock, folk, and country, encapsulated the era's sense of freedom and exploration. In parallel, Jerry Brown's progressive policies and ideals resonated with the societal shifts that were taking place in California and across the nation. This alignment of their personal and professional lives likely contributed to the growth of their relationship. However, like many high-profile relationships, Linda Ronstadt and Jerry Brown eventually went their separate ways. The exact reasons for their separation remained private, giving rise to speculation and intrigue in the media and among the public. The end of their romance was a subject of interest, and it left many wondering what had caused this prominent couple to part ways. Following their romantic split, both Linda Ronstadt and Jerry Brown continued to pursue their respective careers with determination and success. Ronstadt maintained her status as an influential and beloved figure in the music industry, continuing to release albums and perform for her devoted fans. On the other hand, Jerry Brown remained deeply engaged in the world of politics. He went on to serve multiple terms as the governor of California and remained an influential voice in progressive politics, emphasizing his enduring commitment to public service and his dedication to affecting change. Linda and Albert Brooks Linda Ronstadt's relationship with actor and filmmaker Albert Brooks was a notable and intriguing connection that began in the mid-1970s, a period when both of their careers were on the rise. Their bond was cultivated through shared humor and a mutual admiration for each other's work, even though it was not as extensively documented in the public eye as some of Ronstadt's other romances. Linda Ronstadt was renowned for her exceptional vocal abilities, and Albert Brooks was known for his wit and comedic talent, making them a unique and compelling pair. Their relationship, while private and discreet, endured for several years, allowing them to maintain a level of privacy away from the intense scrutiny of the spotlight. The details of their time together remained largely confidential, providing them with a personal sanctuary within the public eye. This relationship shed light on Ronstadt's ability to form connections with individuals outside the music industry, highlighting her multifaceted personality and interests. It showed that she could build deep and meaningful relationships with those who shared her sense of humor and appreciation for the arts, transcending the boundaries of her musical career. While Linda Ronstadt and Albert Brooks eventually decided to part ways romantically, they managed to preserve their friendship and continue to support each other's artistic endeavors. Their shared experiences and understanding of the entertainment industry likely fostered a unique bond that extended beyond their romantic involvement. Linda and Two Comedic Geniuses In the early 1980s, following her separation from Jerry Brown, Linda Ronstadt's romantic life became a topic of interest, as she spent time with two of the most iconic figures in the world of comedy. The first of these comedy icons was Bill Murray. 
While their relationship remains somewhat shrouded in mystery, it is known that they were involved romantically during the early part of the decade. The details of their relationship are not extensively documented, but it was a noteworthy connection in Linda Ronstadt's life during this period. However, in 1983, Linda Ronstadt's path crossed with that of a young and budding comedian, Jim Carrey. This was well before Jim Carrey's major breakthrough in films like Ace Ventura Pet Detective, The Mask, and Dumb and Dumber. It's worth noting that Linda Ronstadt seemed to have a keen eye for talent, as she reportedly dated Jim Carrey for approximately eight months in 1983. At that time, Carrey was on the verge of becoming the comedic sensation and Hollywood star that the world would later come to know and love. Their relationship was significant enough that Jim Carrey was quoted as saying, she is an incredible human being, which reflects the depth of their connection during their time together. This quote suggests that their relationship went beyond just a fleeting romance and that they had a profound appreciation for each other. Her and J.D. Souther Linda Ronstadt's relationship with singer-songwriter J.D. Souther was a significant and multifaceted connection that blossomed during the creative and collaborative music scene of the 1970s. Their story began in the vibrant music environment of Los Angeles, where they quickly formed a deep bond that extended beyond their romantic involvement. At its core, their connection was built on a shared love for music and a profound mutual respect for each other's talents and creativity. J.D. Sother's songwriting prowess beautifully complemented Linda Ronstadt's exceptional vocal abilities. Together, they embarked on a creative journey that resulted in some of Ronstadt's most enduring and beloved hits, including Faithless Love, Simple Man, Simple Dream, and Prisoner in Disguise. Souther's introspective and poignant lyrics, combined seamlessly with Ronstadt's powerful and emotive voice, creating a magical and harmonious musical synergy that left an indelible mark on the music world. Beyond their musical collaboration, Linda Ronstadt and J.D. Souther shared a deep emotional connection that extended into a genuine affection and understanding for one another. They provided unwavering support for each other's artistic endeavors and embarked on several joint projects. Souther's songwriting expertise played a pivotal role in shaping Ronstadt's albums, adding depth and richness to her music. While their romantic connection eventually came to an end, their bond remained strong. The breakup did not sever their relationship. Instead, they transitioned into a deep and lasting friendship. Their ability to maintain a close and supportive connection despite the end of their romantic involvement speaks to the maturity and depth of their relationship. They continued to collaborate on various musical projects, showcasing the enduring strength of their creative partnership and their shared commitment to making exceptional music. Despite the presence of numerous talented and charismatic men in her life, Linda Ronstadt did not feel compelled to settle down and get married. In a 2019 interview with the Washington Post, she made her stance on the institution of marriage very clear. Linda asserted that marriage was not something she was interested in. She went on to candidly state that while she was undeniably a gifted artist, she believed she lacked any talent for marriage. Linda's viewpoint on marriage was marked by a strong sense of independence and a reluctance to compromise. She emphasized her disinclination for making concessions in her personal life. For her, Having the freedom to make choices aligned with her own desires and preferences was of utmost importance. She used a humorous example, saying, I don't like to compromise. If I want a pink sofa and somebody doesn't want a pink sofa, I'm not going to go for that. I want the pink sofa. This resolute approach to her personal life was a significant aspect of Linda Ronstadt's identity. It's clear that she valued her independence and the ability to live life on her own terms, which included the freedom to choose her own path when it came to love and relationships. Despite having a long and fulfilling life filled with romance and love, she never felt compelled to walk down the aisle, and she was unapologetic about her decision. 
of cuz Linda Ronstadt's marital status and her sexuality have been topics of speculation and discussion in the past. There were prior beliefs that she might be a lesbian, with some assuming that the fear of rejection had prevented her from publicly acknowledging her sexuality. However, in a candid interview, Linda dispelled these claims and provided insight into the actual reasons behind her unmarried status at the age of 69. She explained that the primary reason she had not married earlier in life was that she hadn't encountered someone who inspired her to fully commit herself to a relationship. In her words, I just haven't found someone who makes me want to give my all to him. While many of her contemporaries were busy settling down and starting families, Linda's focus was on creating music for her devoted fans. Linda expressed frustration with the assumption that not getting married equated to being gay or lesbian. She emphasized that there are plenty of straight individuals who choose not to marry throughout their lives, and she identified herself as one of those straight individuals who had not yet been married. Furthermore, Linda shared that she does hold hope for the possibility of marriage in the future if the right person enters her life. She mentioned that if she were to meet someone who truly understands her and shares her profound love for music, she would certainly consider a romantic relationship with that person. In describing the qualities she values in a potential partner, Linda highlighted loyalty, a caring nature, and a compatible personality as essential attributes. She also placed a high premium on a sense of humor, emphasizing that someone who can make her laugh immediately becomes more attractive to her. Linda's perspective on marriage and her openness to the idea of marrying, if the right person comes along, underscores her individuality and her unwavering commitment to following her own path in life. Her desire for a deep and meaningful connection rooted in shared values and a love for music reflects the significance of compatibility and emotional connection in her romantic aspirations. Up to this point, Linda Ronstadt's life is still very good and peaceful. Let's take a look at her remarkable successes. Linda Ronstadt has enjoyed an exceptionally successful professional career, marked by numerous accolades and achievements. She is a recipient of 11 Grammy Awards, underscoring her remarkable talent and impact in the music industry. Additionally, she has been recognized with three American Music Awards, two Academy of Country Music Awards, and an Emmy, further highlighting her versatility and skill as a performer. Throughout her illustrious career, Linda Ronstadt's music, characterized by its melodic and catchy tunes, has resonated with millions of music lovers worldwide. She has released a total of 30 studio albums, each contributing to her enduring popularity. Many of her albums have achieved significant commercial success, with several reaching double platinum, platinum, and gold certifications, attesting to her widespread appeal and the enduring quality of her music. In recognition of her substantial contributions to the world of music, Linda Ronstadt was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2014. This prestigious honor acknowledges her profound influence on the industry and solidifies her status as a musical icon. Despite her advancing age, Linda Ronstadt remains an enduring figure of attraction and continues to captivate with her timeless beauty. Her estimated net worth is an impressive $115 million, reflecting her financial success and the lasting impact of her career. While Linda Ronstadt is not highly active on social networking sites, she maintains a connection with her fans through her official Facebook page. This allows her admirers to stay updated on her life and activities, providing a glimpse into the world of this iconic artist who has left an indelible mark on the world of music. What do you think about Linda Ronstadt's views on marriage and her current life? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.